much. Must be down the Frank Singh, is it six already? Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> it is six. Hello, welcome. It is six o'clock. It is. Well, you are here. I'm running slow. We are both uh, here. Yeah. Welcome to the kitchen, Frank Thompson, everybody. Everybody's very happy to see you. I've got all these messages saying. We're more happy to see Fiona Kennedy. No, I'm not at all. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. um, everyone will start to join us in a minute or two. Let us see. Betty Hunter. Hello, Betty. Welcome. Good to have you with us. So we have so far, they're just all getting themselves together. This is why uh -huh. I do a little bit of chatting at the beginning. What have you been up to this week, Frank? Quite a busy week. Uh, I was, uh, where was I on Saturday in Edinburgh, mm -hmm. playing for a country dance group at the Trinity um, Club. Uh, lovely group of people, uh, all dancing, you know, the, the very latest in Scottish country dances. Uh, Friday, do, you do, that, I think, do you do that, play for this group a lot? Uh, twi the years? Twice a year, they have regular, I think it's fortnightly dances um, in a hall up near, not too far from Holyrood Park in actual fact. So this happens quite regularly and they have different bands uh, uh, along the year. And then on Friday I was at Huntley and that was another lively Scottish country dance. So Excellent. I've been touring around the country. <laughs> I hope you What's were... new? Uh -huh. What is new? I, I'm, I'm just hoping that you wasn't driving straight back home, which I know the answer to that question already. Oh so yes, okay. <laughs> Don't go there. <laughs> Hello, welcome. Welcome. If you're just joining us and finding us, because I know it takes a few minutes sometimes just to, to find us. Yeah. And also, this is a good moment to share it with your friends. If, um, yeah, good, good show. You just, uh, if you just press share. What are you going to start with? Well, I was going to start with uh, a couple of questions, actually. But, uh, one was from, I noticed some feedback, uh, I think it was in December, mm. to ask me to play for a little local march called the Stonehaven March. Right. And then also in this group, I want to play uh, a request for uh, Ian Smith in Perth, who's well into his 90s. Uh, played fiddle and saxophone and bands in Perth way back in, I suppose it would be in the 50s and 60s. And that's a he great was... combination, fiddle and saxophone. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Oh. And he was reminiscing about the old village hall dances of the past. And he mentioned the Lancers and he said, would I play the first oh. set of the Lancers? It's a dance where you've got five different sets. Yeah. And I don't know if you've ever done it. I don't, a, I don't think I've ever done the Lancers, yeah, no. Wheel of the 51st, Duke yeah. of Perth, you know, all of those. But the Lancers is probably... Well, the Lancers more wasn't more. danced by reelers. It was more uh, sort of Cayley type dancing. All oh, right. Okay. Yes. So but, it wasn't military? No. Well, it would have been originally. Yeah. But it was adopted by the, the, the Scottish dancers. And it was a very, very um, popular way back in the 40s, 50s, 60s. It's still done occasionally, yeah. and it's five uh, sets making up the Lancers. So I'm including this tune. So in your uh, kitchen, get yeah. yourselves ready for mm. the Lancers. <laughs> Thank you. 
Toronto yes. Antlers, yes. Uh -huh. Excellent. I, I, um, I can picture the room. It was well, full. There I, was I, one of the sets in the Lancers was quite dangerous in actual fact. Uh, there'd be two couples dancing, what's, I don't know what you call it, it's a basket, and they're burling round, their hands around the shoulders, and oh. the ladies' feet are off the ground. They're so almost horizontal. It's like a helicopter. The, a helicopter, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm not so, too keen on that. No, I, don't blame you. My days of helicoptering are gone. <laughs> I used to not mind it, I mean, because when you do all these marvellous turns and things... Yeah, and it's amazing it, to it's, see. Uh, uh -huh. it, it's a workout. Mm -hmm. It's... Uh, it's you don't need to go to the gym when you've done a few of those. <laughs> That's true, yes. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Frank Thompson is in the oh, kitchen. Um, we are going to... We're going to do an old song. And, and it sounds to me... I, my dad used to sing it, and I'm sure Kenneth McKellar maybe sang it, Down in the Glen. It, it sort of takes us back to, I don't I know, think, the 50s or... I think Bing Crosby sang did, the song, yeah. Really? Uh, well, uh, it wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. It wouldn't surprise me, because it doesn't sound, it's, it is a bit of a crooner's. Yes. Uh -huh. It doesn't yeah. sound at all Scottish. And it's, there's lovely harmonies in it as well. But do um, we know what key we're in? I think we're in C, oh, yes. Right. Okay, let's go. Oh. <laughs> Twilight is softly falling As the sun sinks in the west The one I love is Shepherd, come home to rest at hush of even tide, o'er the hills beyond the Clyde. I go roaming to my heaven down in the glen. Though Big ending, but yeah. I've decided not to. Okay. 
It's Monday. I it's six o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't warmed up. Mm. I haven't warmed up. It's been very cold in Aberdeenshire today and wet and horrible. And I just haven't actually warmed up. Well, that makes two of us. <laughs> <laughs> How, what, what are you going to play next? Well, there was another, it's all a request for tonight. Uh, the Blue Bell Polka is almost a favourite. The old will so, star, uh, the old yeah. will star song. I tell you who it would be nice to play that for. And do you know who your request is for? Because I've got a bunch of requests okay, here. Yes, so yeah. I would like to say, um, it's next week, I think. Happy birthday to George and Gina Silver. And that comes with love from Gary and Deirdre. So happy birthday to George and Gina. Um, many happy returns. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday Gina. to you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, George and Gina. Gina. Happy birthday to <laughs> The dogs are singing happy birthday as well. Yeah. <laughs> the golfer's arrived. I didn't think he was coming home, but he's home. There may even be a clue. I don't know. Or you maybe going to have a sleep. I need a sleep. He needs a sleep. I thought. I am also going to say um, hello to Sam Logan. Now... Uh, Sam said, I hope you had a great holiday. Thank you, Sam. We did. I wonder if you could sing, Oh, Let Me Walk the Royal Mile. Now, I don't know that one, Sam, and I don't think you do no, either. No, I don't know It's new to us. Well. So, but, but the Bluebell Polka, and this is really to cheer Sharon up, who's had a pretty hard time of late, and she's going through some treatments. So I am hoping, Sharon, that you're doing well, getting on the mend, keeping your spirits up. We're thinking of you, and you're going to play yes. the old Will Star favourite. Perhaps you can do it. You mentioned Will Star, so you, perhaps you can stand up in your chair and do the, <laughs> the kick. Yes. <laughs> he almost did it. <laughs> this once yeah. before. I mean, I mean, if you'd asked me that question, we're, we're who really sang it? Because it doesn't sound like it's a tune that you could sing to. So Correct, she must yes. have taken it, made it a much slower tempo. No. No, yeah, she sang it. Picking the blue that. bells in the merry month of May. I can't remember the words, but it went right to the top of the hit parade. Really? Yeah, and there's not too many Scottish songs have gone to the top of the hit parade, but this one did, and I think it was... Uh, before you were born, it would have been 1955 or 1957. Okay, I'm saying Say no nothing. More. <laughs> I am saying nothing. I'm continuing to lie. I think it's the only way forward. Um, what was that? I was also going to give a big shout out to Phyllis Grant uh, because Phyllis is in her bed as well. We've got a few of our very regulars who are just not too well at the moment. She had a bad fall and a really bad back, so get well soon. Phyllis, with a big kiss from all of us. And um, I also 
um, wanted to say uh, to Edna Jaffrey. Now, hi Fiona, I wondered if you could sing The Green Hills of Isla. I love it. Your mum used to sing it and your uncle Alistair sings it. It's such a beautiful song. Thanks, and, and it says Edna. Well, so I wrote an email earlier to Frank and said, we have a request for the Green Hills of Isla. So he arrived just a wee while ago and proceeded to play something he said, and that's the Green Hills of Isla. I said, that is not the Green Hills of Isla. That is the Green Glens of Antrim. Yes, okay. There's far too many. So I am sorry, Edna. He, Frank is not prepared tonight. I take full responsibility. <laughs> but he has come prepared for the the Green Glens of Antrim. So I've never sung that, so maybe I'll give that a whirl. Okay. Because that was one that Dad used to sing. So let me... What key is that in, Frank? Well, I think it's F. I mean, Scotland oh. is full of green hills and glens and <laughs> such like, so... But it, it was the you, wrong... That wasn't mm. the one that Edna requested. Yeah, well, we'll get it right so. next time. <laughs> but you might like this one. We'll try. <laughs>
That's an oldie. That's an oldie, yes. That is an oldie. Have what you ever it? heard that one before? Not it for was, a long time. It was an oldie by mistake. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Frank thought, and um, I said, the green, he thought the green glens of Antrim was the green hills of Isla. Oh, right. Just a different country. A diff <laughs> slightly, yes. <laughs> Just slightly. What is the name of the plant known as clove pink? What is the name, the golfer's clue tonight is, what is the name of the plant no, known as clove, clove pink? pink? Quick, Google. Do you know? Is it clove? Clove pink. Clove pink. What is the name of the plant known as clove pink? Any of you know, we have a very intelligent no, audience, as I, you know. Whether they're great. gardeners, that is another yeah. matter entirely. Are you uh, a gardener? Well, I'm better with vegetables than flowers. <laughs> <laughs> you know, once, once upon a time, um, the... Are you away? I'll be right back. I'm just but but you... Oh, well, after the next tune, we'll okay. give you the answer to the clue. Well, I'll let the dog in. Okay, I'll all right. Well, when you come back, we need to know the answer. Once right. upon a time, Beach yeah. Grove Garden came to our house and said, because oh. we have a lovely big garden, as you know. Mm -hmm. I am not much of a gardener, but they said, well, what do you do? Well, I said, well, I go out and I kind of enjoy it. And, yeah. Yeah. Um, and do you plant anything? Oh, yeah, a few flowers. I didn't really, I, I mean, I sort of knew daffodils, tulips, roses, marigolds, you know, pansies, little thing. I, I'm not good on the Latin names. So I think they kind of glazed over and said, I would be a useless guest on the Beach Grove Garden. So I never made it onto the Beach Grove Garden. Didn't well, know, did not garden. know a thing. I've seen this garden. It's full of every known vegetable, uh, every we're known fruit. We're, we're good. Uh, it's just amazing. We're good on ingens and leeks <laughs> Nips. and neeps. Nips. We, we do tatties. We do all of that. But the Latin names... Oh, oh no. That, 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 so what are you going to play while... They all Google what is the name of a plant. Right, I need to know this as well. Pink. Known as clove pink. Clove pink, yeah. Well, this, this program this is full of mistakes. <laughs> uh, because I think you said somebody had requested something about marching, something to do with oh, heather. Yeah, marching through the... Well, I, my friend Anne Houston would like through the heather. Uh, but then Frank and I would march marching through the heather, which is a completely different song. It's one of those days, it's Monday. It's a holiday. Yes, this is, this is a song your dad used to sing yep. called Marching Through the Heather, and you'll re recognize it. You can maybe join in the chorus. Maybe. <laughs>
have. I saw Ali Renshaw, I haven't seen your name up there for a while. Ali, lovely to have you with us. And Wayne, I saw. Um, and Neil Strachan, I saw. Marion Fulton Muir. Oh, lovely. Jean Fagner, Ilsa, Marion Fraser, great to have you with us. And Lorna, hello. I've just tuned in. Welcome, Lorna. Do you know the answer to the golfer's clue? And Linda's saying, yeah, Frank, Linda Patterson, Patricia. Oh, everybody's joining in. Catherine, oh, wait a minute. Great tunes, Frank. Nancy Skade, Ontario, or is Nancy Skade, Ontario, or Pool and Dorset? Oh, nice. I get mixed up. <laughs> Forgive me if I've got mixed up. Uncle Alistair, many years ago when I was in London, I was introduced by Bob Halfen to man, uh, Archie Montgomery, who wrote The Green oh, Glen. Yes. So, uh, Antrim. Well, well. Really? Uh, good times. Well, because I did look up The Green Glens of Antrim mm -hmm. when <laughs> you thought it was The Green Glens of Antrim. I'm not going to dwell on this. Yeah. But um, that's completely right, Uncle Alistair, because somebody wrote a piece on The Green Glens of Antrim and saying, did a Scotsman write The Green Glens of Antrim? Because so many Scots used to holiday in the in County Antrim, very much so. um, and there was such a a crossover with um, Ulster Scots, and of course Uncle Alistair Gillis, who just sent a message, he studied dentistry in Belfast, so he oh, went yes, to okay. Queen's University in uh, Belfast uh, and studied there. So I am, I'm a, that's amazing that you yeah. that he met him. Yeah, that's amazing. That's how coincident. I know, yeah, I know. Coincidental. And um, I have. So we've got to do the Green Hills of Isla another time. Right, okay. Um, so we've got lots to do uh, <laughs> at another date, yes. <laughs> this Heather song, I don't know, though. Uh, oh, Through the yeah. Heather. We had a request. Through the Heather. We're, we're, we're real, really down, going down memory lane <laughs> here. <laughs> um, Through the Heather was another song that doesn't sound very Scottish, but it's beautiful. Yes, okay, we'll look it out. I can't um. forget how we walked through the heather and kissed on the top of a windy hill. The morning sky was blue. Da 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 I need to look it up. But Much you more. said goodbye yeah. when we walked through the heather. Uh -huh. But we'll meet again. So it was a big yeah. romantic ballad. Much more romantic than marching through the heather <laughs> and up to the knees and uh, snow, probably. <laughs> The words in Marching Through the Heather I do remember. Oh. Though, though we smile all the while <laughs> and the long, weary mile. Who, who, who did write that. that one? Oh, no idea. Nobody Probably did. Your dad. Uh, no, it wasn't. I, it was not my dad. Now, what was the clue? Because I never remember anything. It was, Something. what is the, the well, name? The plant among, known as clove pink. What is the name of the plant known as clove, clove pink? Rosemary, do you know? Greetings from a very wet Danoon. Ferguson, Rosemary. I am sorry, it's wet. Um, Dal, Danthus, Dianthus, Dianthus. No, he's shaking his head. Um, oh. Carnation. Car well done. Well. <laughs> You're right, John. It's a carnation. And so did Catherine. She knew. She knew it was a carnation. I have to say that is my least favourite flower. I don't know why. Mm, okay. And they last forever. I, and, and well, I should... You're right. I have never seen carnations. I see tulips. Yes. And lilies and all sorts of things, but no carnations now. Oh, so They're the, the ones in the garage for a friend <laughs> <laughs> that he sometimes brings <laughs> me. You do see them in a button. Well done, all of you who got carnation. That. Um, now, what are we going to do, Frank? Uh, the Queen's Four Marys, was it? Or are we going to do, or, or the Queen's Four Marys, or the, or the Urain Fireside? Because yeah. we were going to do, right, okay. this is a bit of a tribute to right. James Scott Skinner. And on Thursday, if you're in the Aberdeen area, Paul Anderson is putting on a beautiful show at concert at the Tivoli Theatre in Aberdeen at seven o'clock. It's um, called The Beauty of Cromar Before Me, because Cromar is where Paul lives and he's written some beautiful music. Um, he's got the wonderful Peter Headland coming over, um, Shona Donaldson, Paul's wife, wonderful singer, Bothy Ballas, she will be singing. 
Um, Paul said that I'm the glue that's making it hang together. Oh, lovely. So that's yes, very yeah. nice. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I will be there and I'll sing a couple of songs. And the Bankery Strathspey and Real Society. So the, wonderful to have the Bankery Strathspey and Real all together at the Tivoli with Paul, Peter, Shona yeah. and Hamish Napier, the wonderful Hamish Napier. Knew I didn't and this is to raise funds for it's to raise a fund. statue. It is for, um, it's raising funds for a magnificent statue, life-size statue, I think, of James Scott Skinner in James Scott Skinner Square. Um, yeah. And Paul showed me, I mean, I hear wonderful handlebar moustache. That's right, yes, yes. And beautiful yeah. tweed jacket, yeah. uh, an elegant He was quite man. a character, yeah. And, and, was... and Paul was telling me, I mean, the wealth of music that he wrote, I mean, way, hundreds and hundreds, I mean, more than 700, I mean, it was just phenomenal. But you told me that he wrote this song, and Correct. I did not know this. Well, it's known as the Cradle Song, uh, but the song is entitled Urin Farside. Yes, yeah. this is one that Frank brought with him today. This for not knowing that James Scott Skinner wrote this, but um, I'm wondering, did he write the words as well as the I music? would doubt it. Uh, he, okay, there would be uh, another... Yeah, it would be interesting to find to out it, where uh, the yeah, cradle yeah. song. Lovely to have you all with us, and I know that Jamie Sutherland is joining us, and actually, last Thursday when we had Paul Anderson in, Stuart Spence and Maureen joined, so a big shout out and hello to Stuart Spence. Stuart, if you're watching, Maureen, hello, good evening, and it was lovely to know that you were watching <laughs> Paul Anderson on Thursday. The next couple of weeks I may be doing things on different days, just to let you know, because I've got a few things on that are taking me south of the border, and uh, I may have to do 
a kitchen concert. I may have to do a recorded one. Not very sure yet, but I will. I'll keep you. I'll keep you posted. Um, Iris, lovely to have you with us. And Jeannie, uh, oh, Jeannie, Tom, how lovely. And Ashley Clough, good to have you with us. There were a couple of other people I wanted to say hello to. Um, I said hello to Sam and Sharon Logan. Uh, and, oh yes, I said to, do, to Edna, yes. And um, what are you going to play, Frank? Pure reels. Yeah. Yeah, pure reels. Yeah, uh, yeah. It doesn't have cheer us all up on a Monday, you playing a few well, I'm not sure about that. It uh, does. It, it really does, it doesn't, doesn't it? Me up. It does. <laughs> I know, I can hear you at home. Oh. time that you're in Frank but it, it just lifts the spirits it cheers us all up and gets the feet tapping, gets the uh, feet tapping. Uh, uh. I've been cold all day but now I'm not cold anymore <laughs> thanks to Frank and I'm sure you're tapping your toes clapping hands in the kitchen wonderful says Aileen and so does Linda Patterson and so does David White and Jean Campbell she's loving it as well Elizabeth Whiteside great and Rhoda McDonald, great concert once again. Thank you both very much. And Mike Glennie saying hello. Margaret McCubbin, and lovely to have you with us. Kay Whelan, that's really nice. And Catherine Bell, thank you. Uh, it's just lovely. Jean Fechney, Jean is a loyal, I mean, you're, you're all brilliant. Bill Harbour and John Conroy, as always. Oh, you're all great, you I do know this. And Robert and Mary Wilson, it's great. And Iris, I mean, it's, it's just lovely to have you all with us. Heather Berry, who's enjoying it as well. So thank you for joining us. I, I'll do one more song, maybe. Another old trip down memory lane. Um, before Mary's, as they became known, were the companions and the ladies in waiting to Mary, Queen of Scots. Okay. Uh -huh. um, and she was born in Linlithgow, as you know, mm -hmm. history lesson here. The four were Mary Seaton, Mary Beaton, Mary Fleming and Mary Livingston and in 1548 the four Marys joined their Queen at Inch Mahome Priory in preparation for their journey to France. Mm -hmm. But in the song it's Mary Beaton, Mary Seaton, Mary Carmichael and me. Oh yes, okay. So that's a bit of a mystery we can say yeah. another day. Do you know the answer to the mystery Mike Kelly? Will, yeah. we, will we give it a whirl? Oh, no. In the key of C. Yes, stream the Queen had for Mary's. The next she'll have a three. There was Mary Seaton and Mary Beaton 
And words gone through the hall That Mary Hamilton has a way By the highest steward of all As she gave up to the candidate a so much for joining us a lot of people love that and frank it's always great to it's have you in the kitchen yeah. okay and um, will you play us a little tune or two to well, why not uh, as a tribute to robbie shepherds take the floor <laughs> joining us and we look forward to seeing you next time i will post if it's going to be monday or it may be later next week just depends but i'll i'll keep you posted thank you so much for joining us bye for now oh hello maureen and hello fiona floris hello and au revoir <laughs>